adenomyosis. What is adenomyosis? Adenomyosis is a condition whereby the inner lining of the uterus called the endometrium is found in the muscular layer or myometrium of the uterus. This is a drawing of the normal female reproductive organs. This is the uterus. This is the vagina. This is the right ovary and this is the left ovary. This is the left tube and this is the right tube. This is the endometrium and this is the myometrium. How does adenomyosis occur? When the endometrium penetrates the myometrium, endometrial tissues get deposited in the myometrium. It causes the myometrium to enlarge and adenomyosis occur. The endometrial tissue in the myometrium can grow and bleed. This is a drawing of the normal female reproductive organs from a side view. This is the uterus. In front of the uterus is the urinary bladder and behind it is the rectum. Adenomyosis may involve only one part of the uterus focally. When this occurs, the nodule formed is called adenomyoma. Adenomyosis usually involves the back or posterior part of the uterus. Sometimes the whole uterus can be enlarged with adenomyosis. Why adenomyosis occur? The cause of adenomyosis is unknown. It has been associated with anything that causes uterine trauma that may break the barrier between the endometrium and the myometrium, such as caesarean section, pregnancy termination, and even pregnancy. Some women may not experience any symptoms at all, while others have severe debilitating symptoms. Symptoms include increasing pain during menstruation and during ovulation, pain during sexual intercourse, heavy and prolonged menses, passing out blood clots during menses, and bleeding in between menses. Adenomyosis can be suspected during pelvic examination, ultrasound, and MRI, magnetic resonance imaging. Adenomyosis is often confused with fibroids. Both adenomyosis and fibroids cause enlargement of the uterus. However, fibroid usually do not cause pain during menstruation. In adenomyosis, pelvic examination may reveal an enlarged uterus and tenderness of the uterus and the pouch of Douglas. The uterus is usually uniformly enlarged in adenomyosis, whereas in fibroids, the uterus may feel lobulated. Abdominal and transvaginal ultrasound may show an enlarged uterus. When performing ultrasound, it is important to try to distinguish fibroids from adenomyosis. Ultrasonography will show that the texture of a fibroid is different from the myometrium. It is usually easy to see the demarcation line between the myometrium and the fibroid as shown in this ultrasound picture. In adenomyosis, there will not be any definite demarcation line between adenomyosis and myometrium. Magnetic resonance imaging MRI can assist in confirming the diagnosis of adenomyosis. Often adenomyosis coexists with fibroids and endometriosis. However, the diagnosis can only be confirmed after hysterectomy has been performed and the uterus is examined by a pathologist. Treatment will depend on the symptoms of the patient and whether pregnancy is desired. 
women with adenomyosis have a lower chance of conceiving because the uterus is hostile for implantation of the embryo. They may need to undergo assisted reproductive techniques such as IVF. In women who want to retain their uterus, there are several options. Pelvic pain can be relieved with painkillers or analgesics called non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs or NSAIDs. There are many NSAIDs in the market such as mephenemic acid, naproxen, salicosib, itoricosib. The pain of adenomyosis is caused by menstruation. When menstruation occurs, there is bleeding in the adenomyosis. So one of the strategies to reduce pain and heavy menses is to reduce menstrual bleeding. Menstrual bleeding can be reduced with synthetic progesterone called progestogens, oral contraceptive pills taken continuously or cyclically, depot provera injection, or Mirena. Oral contraceptive pills are usually taken for three weeks with a one week break to induce menstruation. However, three packs can be taken continuously for nine weeks and then a break is taken for one week. In this way, the number of menstruation in a year can be reduced from 12 to 4 and so the number of episodes of pain can be reduced as well. Decreasing menstrual bleeding is believed to reduce the speed of growth of the adenomyosis. Tipo Provera is an injection that is given for contraception. It contains a synthetic progesterone, medoxyprogesterone acetate. This injection is given every three months, and just like taking oral contraceptive pills continuously for three months, it aims at reducing menstrual bleeding. The problem with this injection is that it may cause irregular menses. Another option is to use the progesterone-releasing intrauterine contraceptive device, Mirena. The progesterone in the Mirena, levonorgestrel, is absorbed by the uterus and leads to decrease in menstrual bleeding, thus causing less pain and reducing the rapid growth of the adenomyosis. Adenomyoma may be excised either laparoscopically or by laparotomy, and this is called adenomyomectomy. This may give some relief of symptoms. However, it is impossible to excise all the adenomyoma because its margins are not well defined. In patients with severe symptoms and have completed their family or have failed in all other treatment, hysterectomy will alleviate all the symptoms. Adenomyosis is estrogen dependent and menopause will be a natural cure. It does not increase the chances for cancer development. However, since endometrial lining has invaded the myometrium, rarely this endometrial tissue may progress to endometrial cancer. In summary, adenomyosis is one of the most difficult conditions to treat. It is difficult to diagnose adenomyosis. Women with adenomyosis will have difficulty in conceiving and menstrual pain is difficult to control. In patients who have completed their family, hysterectomy will cause complete alleviation of all symptoms.